AI crypto seems to be one of the biggest narratives for this bull run. Projects in this narrative seem to be very well positioned to have some huge gains. And in fact, many of them have already rallied significantly. And I believe this is just the first rally of many rallies to come during this bull run. So just imagine how bullish is the fact that three of the largest and the most potential AI crypto projects are actually merging. Yes, they'll merge into a single token, the ASI token. And in this video, we are going to explain you everything you need to know about this token, about this merge, and explain you these exciting opportunities so that you can make the most out of it. So basically, considering how exciting this crypto AI narrative seems to be, how strong it seems to be, and how it is attracting a lot of investment, this merge is really exciting because we have some of the best projects in this crypto AI niche, which is a very hot niche, coming together, working together and merging their tokens. That is basically where people can invest if they believe in this ecosystem. In fact, just a few months ago, I have made a video about the top five, the best crypto AI projects that you can hold for this bull run. And that video is still very actual, very useful. I hope and you can check it here at the top. And the curious thing is that in this video, we mentioned uh, the three projects that uh, are now coming together that are merging the tokens. So just imagine how big of a powerhouse uh, this, this project can become and how significant they can become inside this AI narrative. They might just become the best uh, project, best AI project, best AI token to hold if you want to benefit from this narrative. But now, instead of speculating, let's dive deeper into the specifics and explain you more about this merge and how it all works. This is especially important for token holders that might have a lot of questions, especially in terms of conversion, and we hope to answer all your questions in this video. But basically, there will be an AI token, the ASI token, the name is derived from artificial super intelligence, and it will be a token that will result of the merge between the AGIX tokens from SingularityNet, the FED token from Fetch AI, and uh, the Ocean token from Ocean Protocol. And together, this projects will create this artificial super intelligence alliance and they'll be working together towards the development of AGI and artificial super intelligence and uh, an artificial intelligence that is actually far superior to humans. If you want to learn more about ASI or AGI, you can check the video here at the top. And these projects are basically coming together because they want to increase the chances of uh, an actually decentralized ecosystem being able to compete with centralized entities and to develop AGI and ASI faster than decentralized entities. You know, this is because the development of uh, ASI and AGI by centralized entities like OpenAI or Google could actually create significant dangers and risks for humankind, for everyone involved, and could actually affect society deeply. And if you want to know what are the risks, you can check the video here at the top, I've made a video about that and uh, it will clarify everything you need to know. But here we'll try to stick to the, the topic and in this case, this merge actually makes a lot of sense because these projects are complementary in several aspects because Fetch AI is more focused on the business side, on getting commercial deals and commercial AI developed. Uh, SingularityNet is more focused on research, on AGI development and developing the actual technology, not so much on the commercial side. And then we have um, Ocean Protocol that allows for the privacy of the data in terms of AIs and its commercialization, which I think is uh, everything is very complementary. And besides that, they also share a lot of the similar core principles, such as like transparency, openness, the focus on decentralization, developing in an open source environment. And as such, this merge does make a lot of sense for the projects that instead of being competitors in this niche, they can actually bring their strengths together and hopefully be closer to succeed as a unity. At the end of the day, it also means that we have 
more brilliant minds and more brilliant teams working together to reach these beneficial and benevolent AGI. And this can actually mean a higher capacity to attract capital and to compete with other with decentralized entities. In terms of the new alliance, and as you can see here, it will count with Ben Gertzel, the CEO of SingularityNet, as the CEO of this alliance. Uh, and then we have the founder of FetchAI as a board member, and we have uh, two representatives of the Ocean Protocol community. You know, while the tokens of these projects will be merged, it's important to understand that these projects will keep existing on their own. They will keep on delivering their own roadmaps. Uh, they will stick to their commitments, to their projects, but they'll benefit from working together, from the synergies to, to hopefully reach their roadmap faster. Right now, we are in a period where we are having a voting for Singularity Net Ecosystem and for the Fetch AI community uh, to approve or to reject this merge. And in the case of Singularity Net, each AGIC token, um, the current Singularity Net token will, will represent one token, one vote. Uh, in terms of the voting details for Singularity Net, the voting will start on the 4th of April at 12 UTC and will finish on the 16th of April. You have the link here. You can vote by connecting your uh, Ethereum wallet or Cardano wallet where you're actually holding your AGIX tokens. And you can also see the, the results of the voting that is that are live, almost live. So you can understand uh, what might happen. If you have your tokens, your AGIX tokens in an exchange and you want to vote, you do need to move them uh, to a wallet. To get more information about this project, to make an informed decision while voting, you have here this git book for the artificial super intelligence with the white paper, with the roadmap, with the most important information. And you have a lot here to go through and to make an informed decision. And um, while you, you should go through this git book on your own and make your own decision, I will try to answer some of the most likely questions and most important questions you might have. And you, you'll be able to find more details as well in the white paper here if you, if you need, because the white paper does dive much deeper than even the Gitbook itself. And probably the biggest question for all uh, token holders is what will be the tokenomics for this new project, for this new token, and how will the conversion uh, of the several tokens into this new AZI token work. This is likely probably one of the hardest things to understand uh, for the token holders, so uh, and something that they are probably very worried about, so we'll try to dive a bit deeper into this topic. And as we can see here, one AGI will be equivalent to one FAT, that's the conversion for uh, FAT token holders. For AGIC holders, one AGIC will be 0 0.43350 AZI. And for Ocean holders, it will be almost the same. Also 0 0.43326 AGI. And the total so token supply will be of 2.63 uh, billion AZI tokens. ASI tokens, I mean. So just to give you a, a picture, you know, if conversions were made one by one, uh, considering the total supply of the tokens, we have Ocean with a total supply of 1.4 billion. We have Vestnet with a supply of 2 billion, and uh, we have um, Fetch AI with a supply of 1.15 billion total supply. So this would mean that for the projects to be able to keep a similar supply, they would need to have a total supply of at least 4.55 billion, which doesn't happen, as you can, as you know. It's important to consider that it wouldn't be fair that transition because at the end of the day projects do have different market caps so different interests different valuations and fat is the project with the largest market cap right now with 2.35 billion and a conversion of one to one uh, singularity net on the other side has 1.45 billion market cap uh, which is much larger than the 663 million market cap of Lucian protocol um, and even though the conversion rate is almost the same, which might feel a bit, a little bit unfair for AGIX token holders. And in fact, there's been a lot of uh, conversations and discussion about this conversion with many uh, community members in the AGIX space, not feeling this is fair for them. 
However, this comes down to the approach that was chosen. And the approach that was chosen to try to keep it fair, uh, it, it is explained at some level uh, in the white paper, as you can see here. And the calculation is done using fully diluted valuation. This is a token price times the maximum supply of the token. So, you know, uh, on, on my side, looking at this, um, it would be interesting to understand why was this metric the one that was chosen, uh, as it does seem to be a metric that hurts AGIX holders a little bit, as, you know, uh, AGIX does have more tokens into circulation, meaning that the fully diluted market cap would be lower than the other projects. In addition, I don't really like this metric a lot, because as far as I understand, if the supply of a token would increase for FAT or for Ocean, it likely means that their price would decrease with a lot of supply coming into in, into the circulation. Uh, so consequently, uh, it would lead to a decrease of their uh, fully diluted market cap. So, you know, maybe actual market cap would be a, a better and fairer metric to actually uh, evaluate the interest and the demand that the project was able to, to attract. Besides using the fully diluted market cap, the calculation was all done using uh, daily averages of this metric for a period of 15 days. Um, you know, I was trying to recreate the math, but unfortunately it's impossible to do that with the inform without information from the exact period. We do have here some data that was shared, but there's a lot we cannot see here. It's, it's just a print screen of an actual spreadsheet with the results, not all the process. But of course, it's good to have this, but it would be even greater to have this transparency about the calculations in the actual white paper. But basically, uh, in the telegram of the community, there's been some uh, interesting rationals against this 15-day period. They believe a, a longer period should be considered, and they've also noted that this last period benefited more uh, the FAT team and the FAT token because they had a more significant rally and increase, while if a longer period would have been considered then or other methodologies, then it would be likely that this wouldn't be such a beneficial conversion for, for Fed. If you want, you can go there, check their arguments, and just make your own opinion. I just think it's important to voice, uh, to give a voice to all the opinions. And just for uh, further understanding, if we sum up the circulating supplies, right now Fed has around 841 million, SNET has 1 billion and 279, and uh, Ocean has around 569 million. This would give a total of 2 billion and 689 of circulating supply for the projects combined. If we multiply the tokens in circulation by the conversion rate to, for each of the tokens, it means that around 1.64 billion of tokens will be in circulation right away after conversion. In terms of the treasury of the projects, it's stated on the white paper that the projects will keep a, a similar treasury allocation upon conversion. So as, a far, as I understand, they will follow the same rules of conversion as the ones we are following. Another great question people might have still is what will happen to deep funding and Ocean's protocol incentives to developers. And from the white paper, we can see here that Ocean protocol will keep a similar equivalent amount. Of tokens after conversion for incentivization of um, projects into their protocol and that deep funding will keep running uh, as well with a similar conversion as well as any of the other singularity net incentives that you can see here naturally if you're converting then the rewards will be uh, in terms of the token itself will be shorter right because you have a conversion ratio that is inferior to one another thing that is important to note is that in the singularity net vote at least you are also voting to increase uh, the emissions to fast forward 100 million in emissions that is a request from the singularity net team to buy some hardware to take the project to the next level hardware they can easily access to not be only dependent on other companies for the decentralized hardware um, and that's um, you're voting on both things at the same time as you could see and you can see here in the voting uh, process but you can uh, vote differently depending on whether you think that's useful or not but yeah, if you have more questions you should definitely go through this kit book you can see specific questions answered 
questions for the different communities. So that might be useful depending on what token you're holding and questions that are mostly related to the conversion process of the tokens and how that will happen. But that's something we can make a video. If this actually gets approved and moves further, um, also take a good look at the white paper if you have more questions because the white paper is extremely detailed. I had to go there to be able to make this video and to get all these informations for you. And uh, you can go through the index here in the white paper to find the answers to what you need specifically. And to be honest with you, you know, I'm curious about your thoughts. What do you think about this merch? You know, please drop it in the comments uh, as well as any questions you might have about this merch. And I uh, you know I think this can be super important step for Singularity Net, FetchI and Ocean Protocol. And if you hold AGIX or FED token, you should definitely get informed to make a voting decision and make your voice heard. Of course, even though this is important, the considerations in terms of the conversion are also important to reflect on because at the end of the day, even if you approve the merge and you think it's positive, you might not like the terms and that might stop you from actually voting yes. And that's a decision you have to make. And I hope this video has helped. Besides that, I think that it's important to note that with this merge, the exciting thing about having Singularity Net is that it does have an ecosystem with spin-off projects with many different use cases, like for example, Nunet that provides decentralized storage. And these tokens will likely become part of this alliance as well and provide uh, important work for this alliance. And you can learn more about the different projects that are part of the Singularity Net ecosystem in this video here, where uh, I show you what they're actually trying to achieve. And I'll see you there.